Before we embark on this exciting journey, I would like to invite you to become a part of our community. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell as well, so you never miss an update from us. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us create more content like this. Now, let's dive right into our adventure. Unlocked is a thriller movie starring MC1 from Run On, 2020 to 2021, and Tracer, 2022, and Chan Wu Hee, known for her role in Han Gong Ju. The story revolves around Lee Nami, played by Chan Wu Hee, whose life turns upside down when a dangerous man finds her lost phone and gains access to her personal information. This man, Jun Yang, played by MC1, starts keeping tabs on her every move through her digital trail and tries to isolate her from her friends and family. If you enjoy suspenseful thrillers, you'll be on the edge of your seat watching Jun Yang's manipulation of Nami. Kill Bok Soon During the day, Gil Bok Soon, played by John Du Yun, is a single mom, but at night, she's an assassin. She works for Cha Min Kyo, played by Sol Kyung Gu, at M.K. Ant, her boss and mentor. Bok Soon deeply respects her boss, and he feels the same way about her. However, she knows he's a dangerous person, and things could change quickly. Bok Soon's life gets complicated when, right before her contract renewal, she gets caught up in a serious situation where she has to either kill or be killed. Queen Maker is a 12-episode TV series directed by Oh Jean Suk, who worked on shows like Young Pal, 2015, My Sassy Girl, 2017, and My First First Love, 2019. The show is about two women teaming up to get into the world of politics, which is usually dominated by men. Huang Du Hee, played by Kim Hee A E, is a skilled manager at Eun Sung Group, and Oh Sung Suk, played by Moon So Ri, is a lawyer who fights for women's rights. Sung Suk decides to run for mayor of Seoul, and Du Hee joins her. It will be interesting to see these two strong and inspiring women working together to break down barriers. Bloodhounds Popular actor Wu Du Huan is back after his time in the military, and he's going to be on TV in a new action thriller show called Bloodhounds. This show is based on a webcomic by Yung Chan called Sanjiangadul. In the series, Wu Du Huan plays a young guy named Gun Wu, who dreams of becoming a boxer but has to give up on that dream to help his mom pay off some debts. He ends up working for a powerful CEO named Choi, played by Hyo Jun Ho. Duna Bae Suzy, known for her roles in While You Were Sleeping, 2017, and Startup, 2020, is starring in a new romantic K-drama called Duna. In this show, Suzy plays the character Lee Duna, who used to be part of a girl group and now lives in a shared house. When a university student named Lee Won Jun, played by Yang Se Jong, moves into the same house, they form a special and heartwarming connection. This drama is based on a webcomic called Lee Du Na by Min Song Ah. A Time Called You On Hyo Siap from Business Proposal is teaming up with John Yeo Bin from Glitch for a new mystery thriller show called A Time Called You. The story is about Han Jun Hee, played by John Yeo Bin, who is struggling to move on after her boyfriend, Ku Yun Jun. Played by An Hyo Siap, passed away a year ago. But things get really interesting when she somehow travels back in time to the year 1998. In this new past life, she becomes a high school student named Kwan Min Ju and meets someone who looks just like her late boyfriend, named Nam Sher Hien. This drama is a remake of a Taiwanese series called Someday or One Day, from 2019 to 2020. Jiang Xiang Creature Director Yung Dong Yoon, known for Hot Stove League, 2019 to 2020, is creating a new show for Netflix called Jiang Xiang Creature. This drama is highly anticipated because of its famous cast, which includes Park Seo Joon from Itty One Class, 2020, Han So Hee from Nevertheless 2021, and Wai Ha Joon from Squid Game 2021. 
The story is set in 1945 in Jiangxiang and revolves around two characters, Tae Sang and Chai Ok. They're investigating cases of missing people but things take a strange turn when they come face to face with monstrous creatures that have spawned from human greed. Black Knight Kim Woo Bin, known from shows like The Heirs, 2013, and Uncontrollably Fond, 2016, is starring in a new drama called Black Knight. This show is set in the year 2071, in a world where the air is very polluted and most people can't survive. There's a strict social hierarchy. And almost everyone stays inside and wears gas masks when they go out. In this world, parcel delivery drivers are like heroes and are called knights. Kim Woobin plays Knight 5 to 8, who is famous for his deliveries. One day, while making a delivery, he meets a refugee boy named Sa Wool, played by Kong Yu Suk. The story is about how Knight 5 to 8 takes Sa Wool under his wing and trains him to become a knight. Celebrity. Directed by Kim Cheol Q, known for his work on shows like Flower of Evil, 2020, and Chicago Typewriter, 2017, Celebrity is a drama that focuses on social media stars. These individuals live glamorous lives because of their popularity, often making others jealous. The story delves into the desires and mysteries surrounding these famous influencers and the people in their lives. The show features a talented cast, including Park Kyu Young from It's Okay to Not Be Okay, 2020, and Sweet Home, 2020, Kong Min Hyuk, T. The singer and drummer from CN Blue, Lee Chung Ah from Awaken, 2020, Lee Dong Gun from Queen for Seven Days, 2017, and Jun Hyo Sung from Memorist, 2020. Murder Diary Choi Wu Shik, known for his roles in Parasite, 2019, and Our Beloved Summer, 2021 2022, is teaming up with Sun Suk Koo from DP. 2021, and Lee Hee Joon from Mouse, 2021, for a new thriller called Murder Diary. In this show, Choi Woo Shik plays Lee Tang, a college student who accidentally kills a drunk man, only to later find out that the man was a wanted serial killer. This discovery leads Lee Tang to realize that he has a unique ability to identify bad people who deserve punishment. As a result, he starts down a dark path becoming a serial killer himself, targeting those he sees as evil. Adding to the tension, there are not one, but two detectives, Sun Suk Koo and Lee Hee Joon, who are separately pursuing him.